Why iris recognition is gaining popularity? Biometrics as a tool for identification is beginning to spread, and today more and more mobile companies are starting to implement it in their phones. In global mobile consumer survey in 2016, 27% of the people in the survey have a smartphone with a fingerprint reader, and 76% of them use it. Why this new technology is spreading so fast? Probably because of the easy access and the instant recognition, while with odd protection you have to take your time typing the password and effort to remember it. Now there is a new biometric technology starting to make her way to everyday users. Iris recognition is here with some of the new smartphones, such as Microsoft Lumia and Samsung Note 7. With what is she better than the other security measures? First of all, now you can open your phone with wet hands unlike the fingerprint scanner. Second, the level of security on iris scanner is better since the diversity of viruses is enormous and we don't leave iris prints to everything we touch. Last but not least, the review from Android Authority says, after you get the hang of it, the viewfinder didn't even need to appear, the lock screen would just disappear in an instant. So the speed feels the same as the fingerprint scanner. Iris recognition is finding use even in a larger scale. Some airports through the world started adopting this technique for identity verification, but the most massive use of the technology is in India. The Unique Identification Authority of India is a central government agency. Its objective is to collect the biometric demographic data of residents, store them in a centralized de database, and issue a 12-digit unique identity number called Adhar to each resident. It is considered the world's largest identification number project. This program enrolls about 1 million persons every day across 36 thousand stations operated by 83 agencies. By October 2015, the number of persons enrolled exceeded 926 million, with each new enrollee being compared to all existing ones for deduplication checks, so to speak, 926 trillion iris cross comparisons per day. Why all this effort for identifying people, you may ask? The answer is, India spends about $60 billion annually on subsidies, social programs and welfare benefits, but 59% of this never actually reaches the poor. By giving everyone identity, they may be more secure that their money reaches the poor in need. Finally, why is iris recognition so useful? Because the probability of false matches are incredibly small and can be changed to fit the rate size of less than 1% false probability, and those trillions of comparisons can be run in a very small amount of time thanks to iris code, paralyzable and scalable way of verification. All this makes the technology more preferable than the rest of the biometrics, and as the time passes, it becomes more accessible and easier to use.